getting uh, just a glimpse of the crew members who once again we are told have uh, uh, been uh, working to get out of their spacesuits. Now, some video that was replayed, a uh, shot earlier of the crew being extracted from the Soyuz. That looks like uh, Alexander Masurkin there, the commander of uh, the uh, the Soyuz capsule and uh, Roscosmos cosmonaut. He again is wrapping up now his third space flight. He, with the addition of the 12 days spent in space for this mission, now has 346 days in space in his career. Oh, careful. Once again, this is a video being replayed from earlier. The crew has um, since been confirmed to all have been extracted from the Soyuz. We saw live video, video earlier with uh, two of these vehicles surrounding the Soyuz, so this is uh, a replay that we're seeing of their extraction. Yes. Soyuz uh, touched down around 9.13 p.m. Central Time, southeast of Jets is gone. There's a second crew member coming out that looks like Yasaku Mazewa being extracted from uh, the Soyuz following his first space flight, 12 days in space now for him, a space flight participant and uh, Board Engineer 1 for this trip. And there's that uh, second vehicle that we that we saw earlier now pulling up. And you have to move over there. Uh, Dima Ivanov, you copy? I'm here. How is Miyazawa? He's doing fine. They're all fine, yes. Over here, yes, that's over here. If you can see from over here. Let's uh, also get some clothes. From the other. And there is our third crew member, Yozo Hirano, being extracted from the Soyuz in this replay of video that uh, was shot uh, just a few minutes ago. Instead of the usual reclining chairs that we see at the Soyuz landing sites, looks like the crew members that were being taken directly into these vehicles, uh, and we did hear that they were changing uh, out of their so-called spacesuits now, getting ready for the next journey, leg of their journey home. 